Hey guys, I'm curious to see how this works. I'm live just from the YouTube app, just the, the native uh, live ability to uh, broadcast my screen. Um, so in this case, my mobile phone. So I, I just quickly did sort of this underdrawing, this really loose sketch here. I'm uh, working in Autodesk Sketchbook on the Galaxy Note 8. It comes with the S Pen, which I love to use for mobile drawing. It's probably my favorite digital drawing device, um, hands down. I'd, I would love to get my hands on the tablet version that has the S Pen. But anyways, I already have the, the underdrawing here. This is very, very typical for how I would start a, a, a drawing or sketch. Um, whether I'm on paper or, in this case, digital medium. Usually just with like a, a, a pencil, a mechanical pencil, or if I can get my hands on a, a colored pencil, either a red or a blue colored pencil, just because it's nicer to draw over something that's different than, you know, what you're putting on top of it. So rather than putting like ink on graphite, which is also pretty dark, you know, putting it over a, a light blue pencil or something like that just feels better sometimes. So what I like to do then is create a new layer. And then I like to use this inking pen here. And then I'll just go to my color palette here and go to black. And I'm just going to translate this very rough uh, gesture drawing here, this sketch. Um, Uh, into uh, ink drawing here. So I'll pick a spot here, I guess, to start. We'll start with the stem. So I really like this ink pen. It has a very nice sort of thick to thin taper. Uh, very responsive to pressure. It has a very nice flow. Yeah, and just reminds me of like inking with a, a brush or a brush pen. I can get very, very thick lines and then very, very thin tapered, you know, delicate details like this. It's really fun having that that variety of lines because it gives your drawings a lot of dynamics, even if it's just black and white. So I like just kind of scribbling in the the illusion of shadows or depth, you know, and putting these these darker areas just filling in with solid black, where there would be more, either more weight or where less light is hitting. All right, so I'm just gonna follow this around. See how I'm kind of, I'm, I can pick out my lines because I started so sketchy, I gave myself options. And when I go over it now with black, I can kind of pick which one or create a new one that I didn't draw underneath. All right, so. Just gonna do his mouth very quickly here. And I, I sort of like this perspective of uh, seeing the inside of his mouth, the thickness of the the pumpkin shell. I put a shadow on one side of these teeth. I think it was carved out like that. And I think I'm going to make the inside like it's lighting up. So I'm not going to put, I'm not going to fill that in with black. I want the inside to light up. Now these eyes are basically just kind of cut out triangles. All right, now we'll follow some of this contour of the You know, the, the kind of those ridges on the pumpkin. And create some horizontal lines to kind of help simulate texture for one, but also see how it helps with the illusion of contour as these curved lines sort of help indicate uh, how these the, the, those bulges on the the ridges of the pumpkin sort of wrap around each other. So I'm doing this for texture and for uh, helping with the illusion of contour. 
put a little bit more weight down here in the bottom. So I'm just kind of scribbling in black. This is much how I would draw in my sketchbook, my journals. Very loose and sketchy. But what I like about doing this on the phone with digital media, uh, one is, uh, you know, it's, it's very, very clean. You know, this is very, very clean. I don't get, you know, I don't have any uh, texture or, or um, you know, debris from, from pencil lines because I can just hide that sketch layer. It's on a completely different layer. And there we go. We're getting, we're getting somewhere with this pumpkin. I'm going to do kind of a... Um, kind of a, what's it called? Mike Magnola style background here. Very, very simple. I'm just going to kind of outline the shape of the shadow here on that's being cast. And he'll just have these big sections of black to indicate kind of lighting or that there's some something there in the background and so then i just like to use the fill bucket tool and i can fill these in with solid black i like to have large areas of black in my in my drawings might even make something here that's casting a shadow okay i tap it a couple of times just to make sure that there's no halo and there is our black and white drawing of a jack-o'-lantern. This would be a lot of fun to color, I think. But um, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more mobile drawing videos like this. Bye for now.